Hi, I'm Sherry Strong, helping you return to eating real food with spud.ca. Today in the kitchen, we are making my favorite vegan chocolate brownies. They're what I call the least, of, least offensive sweet treat you can find, unless of course you have nut allergies, they do have nuts in them. But essentially, they're gluten-free, they're egg-free, dairy-free, so they are vegan, and there's no added refined sugar. The only sugar you're getting in here is coconut palm sugar and dates. And so we're gonna start off with the dates. We are going to put the dates into the food processor. And to that, we're going to add a half a cup of boiling water, and that just softens the dates. And a little bit of bicarb soda or baking, baking soda, we call it. And then we're going to process that with the sugar, and the coconut palm, sorry, coconut, coconut oil. So this is again a raw, organic, cold pressed coconut oil. Super delicious. And we're going to process that until it's smooth. Once that's completely smooth, I'm going to add into it almonds that have been ground up in the food processor before. So we just took whole almonds and ground them. You could use blanched almonds if you can find organic ones. That's great. And some raw cacao, so raw cocoa powder. That's before it's actually been alkalized or heat treated. And some vanilla bean powder. This stuff is amazing and it's delicious. And again, not highly, highly processed. It's just the whole vanilla bean. And we're gonna blend again until it's smooth. Next, I'm gonna add in the walnuts, chopped walnuts. These are beautiful fresh walnuts. The best way to tell if a walnut is fresh is that it's not bitter. All those walnuts that you had that you thought you didn't like walnuts because they tasted bitter, it just means that all those skins on the outside and the oils have gone rancid and it's nature's way of saying, we're off, don't eat us. Great, and the chocolate chips. There we go. And just a little pulse to combine it. That's it. There we go. So, so here we go, our batter is actually done and Pollux was asking me what's actually holding it together because there's no eggs and there's no flour in it. And it's basically the dates uh, and the, the oils and the uh, almonds are actually all stuck together. So that is our batter. It actually not only looks delicious, it smells delicious and it tastes delicious. So we're just gonna place it onto a little patty pan tin that I've got. I just pop that into the oven, 350 degrees for about 12 minutes until they're just cooked through. Take them out, you can eat them while they're warm and they're equally delicious cold. And here they are cooked. And you just literally Slip them out of the tray. They'll easily come out of the tray. 